Okay, so real quickly, I wanted to show you how I set this up. Um, it's fairly straightforward, I think. Most of the parameters are on the left and right. So if I go to here, you can see that there's a tray that's nine inches. I set up a couple of uh, reference planes um, that control where the center of this body is. If you select this body and go to edit, it's got a parameter on the interior that's controlling the radius. Um, there's a height set here. Um, this is controlling the height of the wheel, which I believe is in the front, right? So there's the wheel height is, whole, is controlled by the radius of the tire. And if you pick the tire and go to edit extrusion, it's going to have a radius for the wheel and a radius for the tire, right? On both of the tire and the uh, wheel that's on the inside of it. So you can look at that more closely. But the thing I wanted to be more clear about is that if I go to 3D here, um, this wheel is the second wheel and it only needs to be on when the double smoker is on. So it has a visibility parameter set to it. So I have it selected. If you click on that, it's got wheel two um, set to it. So if I go to Wheel two is only on when the double smoker is on. When the single smoker is on, I hit apply. You see it shrinks down. Um, the wheel two is off. Now it doesn't turn off in the family, but it will turn off in the um, in the project. Now to put a visibility parameter on something, it's pretty simple. If I just go to none here, okay. You start out, you select the geometry, right? And you will get visible check or not check. And you can just left click on that little box. And I have wheel two in here, but if you don't have anything, you can just click add parameter and name it, but just click OK. And now that visibility parameter that is set to the wheel two. So the single smoker is unchecked. And if we go to double smoker, you want to make sure it's checked. Click OK. Now if I go to file, new project, and we'll just start from an architectural template. All right, so it's blank. If I control tab back and load that into project, I'll load it into project three, which is my new project. Right in that smoker just comes in there. Now, if I go to my 3D view, it's on the double smoker. So if I pick that and go to the single smoker, right, it knocks that wheel off and then pushes that cylinder smaller. Now this wheel is set to two feet off the back of this and then it grows a the extrusion grows in negative six feet. If you want to update that, you can just pick this and go to edit type, and you'll see that the, there's an extrusion two and an extrusion one. So for example, if I wanted the wheel to set three feet off, I could come in, let's duplicate this, and we'll make a single smoker, you know, six feet. Click OK. And so if I wanted the back wheel to be set off to be in the center of this one. I could make this guy, this exterior, three feet, right? And this negative three feet. Whoops, negative three feet. And OK. Right, and so now you see I've got a smoker that has the wheel in the center because basically that reference plane, it's extruding positive this way and negative that way, and you can sort of adjust it that way. Anyway, I hope that hopefully answers your questions. I wouldn't mess with the array right now if this is really all you want. All right.